Hi guys, do you know how to factor this very large number, 2 to the 36 minus 1? First, we'll use the difference of two squares identity to factor it into 2 to the 18th plus 1 times 2 to the 18th minus 1, where a is 2 to the 18th and b is 1. Next, we can apply the difference of two squares again to factor 2 to the 18th minus 1. So we get 2 to the 9th plus 1 times 2 to the 9th minus 1. Now we'll work on 2 to the 9th plus 1 and 2 to the 9th minus 1, which are equal to 5, 13, and 5, 11. Notice that the sum of the digits of 5, 13 are divisible by 9. So by a divisibility test, 9 must also divide 5, 13. And we find that 9, 13 is 9 times 57, which is 27 times 19. Then testing primes to see what will divide 5, 11, we see that 7 divides 5, 11, and in fact, 511 is 7 times 73, and 73 is a prime number. Now we can use Fermat's little theorem. If a and b are relatively prime, then a to the p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p, meaning it leaves a remainder of 1 when dividing by p. So here, a is 37 and p is 2. So Fermat's little theorem gives us that 37 divides 2 to the 36 minus 1. By uniqueness of prime factorization, it doesn't divide 27 times 19 times 7 times 73. So it's got to divide 2 to the 18 plus 1, which we find is 262145. 262145 ends in 5, so it's also divisible by 5. So in fact, it's equal to 37 times 5 times 1417. We're left with 1417 to factor. We can use a simple divisibility test to find that it's divisible by 13. And in fact, 1417 is 13 times 109. And you can verify that 109 is a prime number. So now we've completely factored this number 68,719,476,735. And now I've simply written the primes in descending order, and of course I wrote 27 as 3 cubes. And that's the complete prime factorization of this 11-digit number, using a few extra tricks like the difference of two squares and for Ma's little theorem. And that's it, and thanks for watching.